Hi guys, welcome back to another, I guess I can't call this beta testing video now, it's really just trying out the different control modes that the Hover Air X1 Pro and Pro Max offer, because in the meantime, the kit you can see here is actually available from uh, Hover's website, and also uh, people have been receiving it already, and we've been seeing some great reviews of this on the Facebook and other social media channels. So not a beta test uh, video as such, just more a presentation of how this works. And what I really like about this is um, Hover and Zero Zero Robotics uh, thought this through and offered this very modular solution. You can see here the beacon is in the middle and then you attach via magnetic clasp the right and left joystick. What you have to make sure is that it clicks improperly so that the contacts inside actually um, touch each other and connect. Then you get the screen coming up and you select the hover um, X1 Pro Pro Max after switching it on. Uh, take a little while, it connect, similar uh, as it would do when you use the smartphone app, but in this case, we're only using the beacon and the different control modes that are available. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to give you a very quick walkthrough of uh, the three different modes that are available here. This doesn't include the smartphone app with the manual controls and the virtual sticks. Um, there are some separate videos on uh, my YouTube channel if you want to check those out. So this is focusing specifically on the accessories that come with the X1. So let's get the Hover Air X1 Pro Max up into the air and take a look at the flight control mode 1, which is the full controller, meaning the beacon and the two joysticks, the left and the right one that I've attached here. Also, you can see I haven't been using the mobile phone. I just wanted to do it purely based on the accessories. You can see the joystick here and the different modes. So on the left stick uh, in a mode 2 setting, you would have up, throttle up and down and then left and right yaw, which means the hover stays in situ, but it turns and then the right sticks are the pitch and the roll axis, which means basically it goes forward, backward, and also, as you can see here, to the sides. So that's the first control mode, and I guess that's the most complete one. Obviously, you've got um, additional distance uh, available if you do this, I think up to one kilometer. That zero zero robotics are claiming here compared to up to 500 meter purely on the wi-fi with the smartphone app and the virtual sticks so let's fly a little bit and enjoy this view until we bring it back in and you can also see here when you attach both joysticks to the hover uh, then the screen is vertical Sorry, horizontal, and now it's going into vertical because I just moved the left joystick, meaning we got flight control mode 2, which is the motion controller, basically. Now, what you have to be mindful of is that the button assignment changes. So, because you only got one stick now, if you move that up and down, that becomes the throttle and the forward, backward pitch and roll axis movement is done by pressing the button that's sitting behind the beacon here on the right joystick part and it's quite sensitive so it takes a little bit playing around with. I guess if you're used to video gaming um, and other items or other devices that use motion control then it's much easier but it'll take a little while. It's quite a nice way to control the hover and I guess uh, whilst we haven't got full FPV functionality or maybe I should say, maybe not yet. Eventually, it's expected that might become available and uh, a nice way to control this. Now, let's look at flight control mode three, which is really only meant to be an emergency control. Um, obviously, on the beacon itself, you've got two buttons. You've got the button on the right, which is the 
function button with that little home and pause icon on it and the button on the left which is the selector button up down and left right and in order to switch manual controls on you have to press the right button first then the left button that activates manual control on the hover when you haven't used any of the joysticks before and just want to connect the a beacon itself as i said it's meant to be an emergency control feature only but i actually quite like it as having a very little control and little screen in my pocket for the hover air x1 pro and pro max i hope you enjoyed that little demo and i see you soon for another one take care guys cheers